Hello, and welcome back. I assume you've come back. Maybe you're new people. Anyway. <clears throat> Get ready to take on the next stage and fight two bosses in Overdrive Ostrich. Once I remember which button starts the level. It's the one I tried to start the level with. <laughs> okay, make it sure. I didn't forget that much. Now, normally you can't get through here. But now that we have the spin wheel... Yay! Where's my E-tank? Pretty much full. So I'll ignore this health. I might need it in a second. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the first of the three X-Hunters will be facing. Violin. Or Violin. However you wish to pronounce it. Viola. Ah. Now! I always fall for that. I'm gonna have to use my sub tank already. Well, that is not how you use a sub tank. Oh, careful not to shoot the giant ball when he uses it. And pretty much you've seen his only attacks, his little sparkle fingers and his giant mace. Sparkly fingers! Gotcha. He's so angry he forgot to capitalize his first word. And with his defeat, we acquire zero part number two. Each one has a different piece of zero. So, what? Can I just ask a question? No, oh, it's the chest piece, not the ass piece. Damn it. Mm. No, the ass piece belongs is the uh, piece number three. I was hoping number two would be the ass piece. Yeah. Not sure on the humor. Yeah, but then, if that's the case, since number one... Yay! But by, by the way, the stick doesn't want to work on this controller. Why do you see that, dude? Whoosh! This is our first, and I think only, encounter with this particular vehicle. And I'm going to immediately crash it. Because I don't like sandstorms. However, this bike has, as you've seen, a gun and the ability to, to boost, which is necessary to clear this gap. Which you can go for one up there, or if you keep the back intact, you can play dodge the spikes and try to get this heart tank. Phew. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the nervous sound that that makes. That's the sound of I don't not wasn't sure how I lived that time. I thought I was dead. Without the bike, the only way to get that requires both the item this stage has hidden here, find another spin wheel trap, and a completely different power with a completely different upgrade. However, just like in the first game, there are capsules made by Dr. Light for Mega Man X. Powers are a little different this time, though. This one modifies your main drive unit, i.e. your legs, and allows you to dash in the air. A very useful ability, but you have to remember, you can only dash in the air if you did not dash in the same movement. If you dash jump, you can't dash in the air. Just a little restriction. Like, I can't but I can just jump and dash freely, but I can't dash, jump, dash. 
Uh, I would have liked to have got some health in my health tank before I fought this boss. Sometimes he's annoying. Although maybe... Um, X, maybe shooting the giant missile you're standing on isn't the smartest idea. Totally shoot the missile. And with the missile's destruction... Overdrive Ostrich. Who has two attacks. His air cutter, I think it's what's called. And him running into you. Now he's two different movements, as you've just seen both his sprint run and his jump run. Both can be dodged with timing. His air cutter, you see him use his power version of it there. However, he can do a smaller version of it in which he just launches forward. Note that in case you're just trying to get some cheap shots on him, he is invincible while he is running. Oh god. I expect that to happen. It's tougher to dodge his jump run when he's going uphill from you. Ha! The exact opposite. And I hit Will Gator on top, I have to hit him on the bottom. So eventually hits me in the midsection. That's where most of my shots go. I might have kill killed the uh, wire sponge by hitting him in the gut. Irrelevant. Mine. And with this, we unlock our third power upgrade. Sonic Slicer. That was it. Where's Air Cutter from? I swear that's a thing. Isn't that from the uh, second game? Or just from Mega Man in general? It might be from another Mega Man. I'm not 100% sure offhand. But the violin's been removed from the map now. But as you see, after every level... The other people shuffle. And, well, I could use the fact that I have Overdrive Ostrich's power, well, the boots, honestly, to get one of the hidden items in Wheel Gator stage. However, I typically prefer going after Agile while he's on Bubble Crab stage. Simply because. This is another one that's a little tricky to get to the secret boss door. Also, just so it's stated, the Mavericks, or the X-Hunters, I mean, will never show up on a stage that you've already beaten the boss on. So, be careful if you don't kill them as quickly as you start killing Mavericks. Now, we fight a mini-boss. Or, we don't have to fight him, we can completely ignore him. However, since Agile's on this stage, we have to. See, the only way to get to the optional boss in this stage is to destroy the fish. Oh, I hate it when you fly high like that. It makes it so much harder to destroy your tail. I'm gonna destroy your front. to destroy enough pieces of this. Nick, I hate that laser. Your ass, man. Yeah. When he flies high, he always does. Or swims high in that first area. If he hadn't swimmed high in the first area, I can kill him before he even gets uh, the door open sometimes. However, with that done, I need to heal. Don't touch those things where they're electrified. You've already shown what happens. Obviously, I've shown what happens. Touching them at all does damage, but they, you take more when they're electrified. Water buoyancy! Push! Whoa! 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 No! <laughs> no! 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 Aw! I wanted that health. Now. Oh, don't do that. This is the way we're supposed to go. However, the fish mini-boss, 
the fish submarine thing, heads this way. With it dead, we can get up here. Where we fight the second of the Max Hunters, Agile. Of the three, I like him the least. He can be the most annoying. Oh dear god, he's got a purple suit and a pink freaking lightsaber. Now, his little slash there, he does in general proportion to where you are. You want to be up high so you can fall, drop it, and shoot him. Aside from that, he has a dash he can do. Which, he is... Oh crap, I'm gonna hit... Yeah. He can't be hurt when he's doing his dash. Ugh. I have shown this there. As shown by me, you know. Come on. I've had had times where he has done nothing but dash. Quit it. Well, I thought that charge shot would have killed him. Either way, he's dead now. Basically, just jump his dash and try to make his cutter shoot high. It's easier to shoot him that way. However, we have zero part number three, which, if I'm not mistaken, is his legs. And, yes, his ass bit. Ah, I really should stock up on health a little bit. At least want to fight him with full. Bubble Crab, while not a difficult boss, can be annoying simply because I'm not the best at dodging. But, speaking of dodging, Bubble Crab. He has several things he can do. His shield, which only breaks after you uh, get him to trigger his uh, energy spike blade thingies. Other than that, he's got mines that he can deploy and bubble rings on top of his bubble shield. Ow. Went a little screw on my dash there. The thing is, he will always flinch from a buster attack, so, or at least a charge buster attack. So that helps a little, but not when I keep running into him. If you're not going to use your shield, I'm just going to shoot you, goodness. But yes, the best way to get his shield to break, jump over him to make his spikes deploy, but, or energy spikes, whatever. We didn't really get to see him deploy his water aqua mines, which are little bubbles that float at the surface. You pop those, the mine will automatically home in on you and fire in your direction. But it doesn't chase, so you can avoid it. But, with that we get the ability to shoot bubbles. Bubble splash. Which, really useful for, well, not a whole lot really, but... Well... Two levels and four bosses down, I think that's enough for one particular video, so next time on Mega Man X, I'm going to go back to Wheelgator stage and get a new gun. So, yeah, stay tuned for that.